Since the last video, you've waited four long months to see Punky finally produce new content. Now finally, the shocking reveal of a new game on a new system will not be seen tonight, so we can bring you the following special presentation. Hey, people, you're right to war. Welcome to the channel's very first Let's Play, which I'm calling a loud play because, quite frankly, I'm quite loud. Uh, I'm going to be playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth on the PS4. I do believe this uh, game is also available on the Xbox One. Uh, you can get it on the PlayStation Vita too, I think. And uh, of course there's a PC and Mac version. And I think it's available for the Wii U and the new 3DS as well. I say that because uh, you can absolutely join along and play with me here. There's uh, seeds to every run that we're going to be doing. And... Uh, I'm going to share those seeds with you so you can play with me and probably do things better. I plan on doing a 100% completion of The Binding of Isaac because I'm absolutely hooked on this thing. This is the only game I've actually played on my PS4 so far. And uh, it's crazy because if any of you are familiar with my channel, you know how I feel about RNG. <laughs> or at least Mass Effect 3 stores RNG. Fortunately in this situation though, the RNG is much better implemented. Well, for the most part, <laughs> okay, uh, th it's more about mixing up your experience as opposed to milking it. Because um, every time you play The Binding of Isaac, although you're going to be going through the same environments and probably encountering the same enemies and same bosses uh, for the most part, every floor is different, every room is different, um, all the items you're going to find are different, so Isaac becomes stronger in different ways or weaker in some cases. This game is one hell of a gamble. Hopefully, you'll all enjoy uh, watching me struggle with my addiction here. <laughs> or joining in. I mean, a problem shared and all that. Uh, if you are squeamish or easily offended, I don't know what you're doing on my channel, but uh, you're probably going to want to avoid this first Let's Play because uh, The Binding of Isaac is made by a, a wonderful man known as Edward McMillan who likes to take... <laughs> Like, disturbing and gross <laughs> stuff, and kind of draw it cute, <laughs> which he does amazingly well. But, of course, we are going to be looking at piles of shit, uh, a lot of blood, uh, all kinds of gross things, uh, which you normally probably wouldn't want to clock eyes on. It's going to be in this game, you want to see it, and as you can see, this uh, story that I'm lovingly talking over here has some uh, definite religious uh, undertones, which could uh, offend some people. I'm sorry I, I didn't make it, guys, but I will be playing it to death. This file here, file two, this one's just for me and you guys. Let's go ahead and crack into that new run. We will be playing as Isaac, the main man and star of the show, but let's have a look at some of the other characters we can eventually unlock. We got uh, Magdalene here, who can be unlocked by having seven heart containers. Kane, unlocked by holding 55 plus pennies. Judas, which they're not going to tell me how to unlock. I'm... Sure, we'll work it out, though. He's one of my favourite characters, honestly. we got Eve, unlocked by not picking up hearts for the first two levels. And Samson, unlocked by beating the first two levels without taking damage. So let's try and get those two uh, done in this first run. It's going to make me play a little differently than I do normally, but it'll be a one-time thing then. Uh, Azazel, this is a super powerful character. We're going to lock him by making three deals with the devil in one game. Maybe we can get three characters or more unlocked in this uh, first game. That's the plan. Uh, Lazarus then is unlocked by having four... Oh, they're called Soul Hearts. <laughs> I'll get into more of that when we encounter them, because we will encounter them. Eden we need tokens for. Uh, let's jump into a game with Isaac. I'm going to do it on normal. Uh, we'll be plenty of... Uh, though, sorry, there'll be plenty of hard difficulty later. But I'm going to start things on normal so that you can basically see the difference between the difficulties. And because uh, a lot of the items uh, in the game actually become pretty obsolete in hard difficulty. So, you know, to give them their little... Time to shine, a little moment to shine. They'll do normal to start things off and unlock a few things. Let's jump in here with Isaac. So, uh, we've been randomly generated into the basement with nothing around us but more room. So, let's, uh, let's just head to the right. Got a guy here that's going to try and charge us. I'll just shoot him up and he's going to drop a red heart. Now, you can move around on the PlayStation 4 using the left joystick or the D-pad. Really nice D-pad, but I do stick with the joystick because it's 
just more fluid movement. And you can uh, fire your projectiles, which in this game's case is tears. You are basically just going to cry at everything. You can do that with the face buttons or the right joystick. I prefer the face buttons for just a bit more control. But there are some items you can pick up in this game that I absolutely prefer to use the right stick with. But let's keep exploring. Got some red flies here. They will kind of rush you down in a slow-ass way. And these guys are spawners. You want to kill them. And then that guy's just going to hover over a bunch of rocks and be a dick for a moment. So let's focus on this guy. Come here. There we go. That's the flies. Sorted. That guy will shoot projectiles. Careful of him. And we got our first consumable that we can use. It's a bomb. Very useful. Hopefully. Maybe. Well, this is a simple enough room. But this golden door here. This is where things get special. This is an item room. Let's see what we got. Pyromaniac. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so now we've got five more bombs. And uh, now, uh, explosions heal our character. So as long as we've got bombs, we can't die. We also can't be hurt by a lot of explosive attacks. Uh, this might be a secret room. No, it's not. Okay, moving on. <laughs> this is a big room, as you can see. Uh, it's just a bunch of flies, though. Not three bad. Let's just shoot them up and keep moving. You can shoot at these poos. They uh, usually cough up with nothing, but they can drop the occasional consumable if you've got the time. Um, I do, but I'm not going to spend the time. There's nothing else in this room, unfortunately, to take advantage of. I mean, there are a couple of coins and pots and stuff. Pots you can blow up. they got, like, a better chance of dropping more coins, even some uh, coin items or money items. But they can also drop spiders or enemy spiders in this case, so... I'm just, I, I'd rather keep hold of my bombs and use them for something a bit better. We're going to head off and take on our first boss here. Monstro. Monstro is a simple boss, as he bloody well should be on the first floor. Uh, all his attacks are really, like, obviously choreographed, so you can just sort of get out of the way well before he does anything. Essentially what I do is just hold my ground with Monstro until he moves, and then I'll just go to a different right angle and attack him from that. Happy days. Monstro will uh, hop after you. He will stop and uh, shoot like a spread shot at you. And he can teleport uh, to you as well. All of which you can see come in and just quickly move out the way of. And uh, have a happy life in this horrible, horrible place. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't do too much teleporting. Because the biggest problem with his teleport attack is it, I can't damage him while he's off screen. And I would rather get uh, Monstro done. He's not the healthiest at boss, but he's fairly healthy. Cool upgrade from the first boss. Though. This is a damage and range increase from Blood Clot. That's our floor, unfortunately. Uh, in fact, there might be a chance I can find our secret room. Give me a second. Yeah. Pills. Now, you might be wondering, what on earth gave that away? <laughs> uh, if you look at the map again, see here, the secret room is usually a gap on the map that's connected to two or more rooms. And since I could see that there was three rooms surrounding this little gap here, I slapped a bomb down there to find this little secret room that's got some pills. You won't know what these will do for your character until you consume them. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's a range down, which kind of shat all over my upgrade that I just picked up. That's bad gas. I can use that to add poison damage to enemies. And hematemesis, uh, which, uh, as you can see, reduces you to one heart and then drops a random amount of hearts on the floor. I'm going to go ahead and pick these two back up and uh, move on to our next floor, I think. There's a chance that this is our second secret room. <laughs> Now, you might rightly... If only we had Hematomesis here. See, now, if you, this is a special room, as you can see. It's got a uh, black heart here, which I'm actually going to take. If I used Hematomesis here... I mean, I couldn't have. I had no idea it was Hematomesis until I ate the damn thing. But if you use it here, it, instead of dropping red hearts, it'll drop black hearts. Now, what is a black heart? Now, a black heart is... Um, <laughs> Remember when I paused in the character selection screen? I was looking at Lazarus going, oh, they do call him soul hearts. Uh, I've always called these things shield hearts because that's exactly what they do. They uh, It's a completely separate kind of um, health 
that you can use to protect your red health. Because uh, unlike uh, when they, they deplete, they're gone, okay? You can only really replenish them by replacing them. They work a lot like uh, body armor in that case. And uh, keeping uh, protecting your red health is very important when you're looking to get deals of the devil, which you absolutely are going to. Now, this uh, blood clot uh, item I picked up only actually increases our damage on the every other shot here. It's going to be that eye that is swollen will shoot a big red shot, which does a bit more damage. So it's not the best damage boost, but it is a damage boost, which I'm always happy to have. I'm never going to turn down Blood Clot, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's kill these guys. These guys move around a bit randomly, and they can jump like the full length of a room, so be cautious. I Like, like Monstro, you kind of want to move when they move. Nothing else going on in that room. I mean, those uh, those rooms there with the keyholes in them, I can obviously use our key to get into. Uh, but those uh, brown doors, they're for shops. And uh, we got two pound. Which uh, all we can do is rub together. That's not really unlikely to buy us anything. Oh, go on. Yay, they all killed themselves. Cool. There's a big room down there. I'm going to avoid it for now if I can. I'll just uh, clock on here. When we get more money, I'd normally uh, you can get an item in the shop with about 15 pound. And that's what I'm hoping to get my hands on before I go in there. Although now with a spare key. Yeah, I did say spare. After the um, the first floor, your item room is locked. So you will need a key for it. Uh, this uh, little poo here has got a little fly sentry around it. Once you break it, you'll turn into a red fly. You don't have to break it. But he was getting in the way. So I did. Uh, could take on the boss now. Or I could go look for... Our other item room, which I'm... Yeah, I'm going to do. This might be our secret room. It is. And it's golden poo. This might let us go to our shop. Uh, We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, watch these guys. They do a charge attack. It's choreographed. And when they kill, they break into little poos. Oh, they're so cute and disgusting. Let's just... Uh, cry on them. <laughs> In no other situation would this make sense. In fact, I'm not entirely sure it makes sense right now. Oh, look up there. We've got a... Tr oh, I was too busy looking up there. Don't look up there. Focus on what you're doing. And then we can look up there. And by there, I'm talking about over here. We've got a treasure rock. Let's go ahead and put a bomb there. And got ourselves another shield heart. Now, this one's blue, not black. Uh, the black ones are generally better. The shield hearts do exactly what... Well, I guess they're called soul hearts. Um, the, 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 the blue ones do exactly what I said uh, shield hearts do. The black ones are a little extra special because when they're depleted, they also damage all the enemies in the room for you too. So they're better off. Ooh, we got a familiar item. This is a passive familiar. who will follow me around and leave this... Well, I'll leave that up to your interpretation it leaves stuff on the floor that if the enemy get walk on it get they get slowed down on and it will also uh generate friendly spiders for me so it's a good it's a familiar i like i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna go ahead and happily take this into our boss fight and hopefully once this is done i can return and check out that uh, trap room got larry jr here cameo from uh, super meat boy i believe i'm sure there was a boss in super meat boy um, I think it was the world, the level was called The End. We had to fight a Larry. This is obviously what survived of that boss fight. This is a big Larry. Um, Larry, can, you can hit all, any of the segments on Larry's body to damage our health bar at the top. However, if you like hit damage the, the middle segments, he will break into multiple other Larrys. Of course, if you can get your hands on um, sort of a piercing attack, you can hit him multiple times with one shot. You know, something you might be familiar with if you watch my Mass Effect videos. Come on. Monstro's Tooth. Not for beating Monstro, strangely enough. Uh, okay, we got another shield heart. This is uh, a pretty good upgrade. It's going to give us extra health. A tears up and a shot speed up. So, what's the difference between tears and shot speed? Well, shot speed is exactly what you expect it to be. It makes your shots move faster. But a tears up makes you shoot more tears per second. So, it's a, that's a good DPS upgrade and a health upgrade. Let's go check out our deal with the devil. Because I, even though I got hit, because I wasn't focused... I still only lost a shield heart. My red health was never hurt, so the de the devil's quite happy to see me again. And wow, what a payout. 
These are some wicked items. I think I'll take every single one. Goat head, first and foremost. Goat head will basically means that we'll always get a deal with the devil, guaranteed now, after every boss fight. Uh, Dark Bum here is amazing. He actually eats all the red heart drops. Well, if you let him eat them. And then he converts every one and a half into a shield heart for you. So he's really good for keeping you alive. And Gimpy here... Oh, we just unlocked... Uh, wow, that counted as three deals with the devil. Awesome. Okay, so we got the, the most powerful character in the game unlocked. And um, as long as I don't do something epically stupid now, we should also get even Samson. Hang on, I'm trying to think. Did I go into a trap room on the earlier floors? Because I probably should not. That would count as damage, which would stop me from getting uh, Samson. May have screwed up Samson, but we should get Eve. I, I've been picking apart as well. Oh, well, we got somebody. <laughs> we've got, uh, we've we've definitely got um, a Sazel. And I'll probably have to be more focused in the future so I can get uh, Eve and Samson. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm walking around with these shield hearts and, you know, they're not nothing. Oh, we can go into this uh, boss gauntlet room right now. We've only got one red health. That's the only way we can get these things to open up. And uh, basically, we can come in here, open this chest and fight two bosses for what's inside those chests. Normally with a, like a, a regular common chest, I wouldn't bother. But considering this is the first episode, why the hell not? We've got a key, two bombs and some cash. And we've got to fight Monstro again. I'll just try and circle him so that he's always on my uh, my sticky white stuff. <laughs> and he's not going to go anywhere too fast. The cool thing about slowing enemies as well is that it slows their projectiles too. So if he when he does that spread shot, they'll actually, they'll actually let them tr his shot uh, travel a lot less distance. So it just makes your life easier. That's why I kind of like sticky sack. <laughs> Oh, and why I love the Binding of Isaac, because I get to say sentences like that and they actually mean something more than filth. I'll deal with Larry too. So basically, we just fought our first two bosses again in this room. I'm pretty sure the bosses you encounter in these boss rooms are fixed. And I should probably know who we're going to encounter, because I have already beaten the Binding of Isaac before. Another chest pays out with this. And Darkbun, that should be enough for... Oh, he gave me a friendly spider instead. That's okay, dude. That's alright. Let's pop in here. Ah, now, the blue flames. You, can cry, you can't You can cry these out. You have to blow them up. So I'm going to stick a bomb here. Boom. And they do, quite frequently, drop shield hearts. And that's a troll bomb. We want nothing to do with it. And that's the, uh, that's the first two floors, which went well, but uh, I didn't do what I was supposed to do on them. We've got quite a bit of money now. I think I'll pop to our shop with uh, our surplus of keys and see what's going on in here. Huh. We haven't got any active items, but that's not to say that we can't get an active item in the future. Nah, I'll leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. Take our business elsewhere. And by elsewhere, I mean to the next level. As you can see, uh, the environment's going to change after this one. There's like every level's got two acts to it. We are now officially done with the basement and heading down to the caves. What a dick. <laughs> I have totally never thrown a ball at a child before. Ooh, red chests. Now, red chests are fun. Okay, uh, I don't know if I've been through this already, uh, but red chests, uh, they can cough up uh, good and bad things. It, they can um, give you uh, friendly spiders, shield hearts, uh, you know, all these kind of good things, but they can also cough up enemies, you know, enemy flies, enemy spiders, uh, and troll bombs. They're quite, uh, there's plenty of them. But what's most important is you can get guppy items from these, which we absolutely, there's one. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Let me just deal with this situation. I will actually have a little chat about guppy here. Okay. Easy enemies. This is a normal gauntlet room. As you can see, it hasn't got the skull on there. It's just got the uh, the two swords. I'm not entirely sure what... Sometimes they lock up on you, and I don't know why. I think you need to have full health as opposed to low health um, to get inside these rooms. And you basically have to fight three waves of mooks instead. Took damage there. Not too happy about that. But it's not the end of the world. It was a shield heart. I mean, I've got Dark Bum to make sure that we are unlikely to run out of shield hearts in the future. So that's that done. You get a key. 
What else is in here? Another guppy. Oh, if we had three guppy items, I probably would have made my own white stuff on the floor. Um, hematemesis, I'll hold on to. An unknown pill, let's take it. Pretty fly. Cool, this is a little orbital fly we got going around us. That will brock, um, brock? block enemy projectiles. Help us uh, take less damage. We're going to take Guppy's Tail. This is a passive item which increases the number of golden chests we're going to encounter. And this is Guppy's Paw, which we can use to change uh, a red heart into three shield hearts. Um, we're not going to do it, though. Even though that's like, oh, that's going to increase your health. Why wouldn't I do it? Because uh, we got Goathead, and Goathead means we're going to get a deal with the devil. And the, the devil likes to take three shield hearts instead of one red heart. So just to get uh, a cheaper deal. <laughs> I'm gonna not go ahead and uh, waste my next my first health here. Although if I get another health upgrade, I'll absolutely do that. But uh, yeah, uh, unlike the other items we picked up that were all passive, that's our first active item, which we uh, we use by uh, pulling the left trigger. Now I just got to deal with these annoying enemies. They're so slow, I can't stand you. Come on, come on. There's one, and you now. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh, come on, come on, come on. There it is, right. <laughs> this guy's not going anywhere fast. Although he has got himself a, a rock wall to hide behind. Deal with that. Uh, secret room, maybe? No, okay, moving on. Holding on to Hematemesis, because we might find... One of those uh, special secret rooms where there's lots of uh, special shield hearts in, in which we can get more as a result. You can have that dark bun, that's on the house. Uh, we will pop into our shop. The ladder, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind the ladder. Just need to get one more coin. Let's broke the shopkeeper. This is actually how I discovered that there were secret rooms in the game when I was playing uh, myself. I was uh, trying to get some money, so I blew up a shopkeeper that was obviously very close to a wall rather than a door at the time. And when that blew open into a new room, I was like, oh, righty then. <laughs> Secret rooms. Because that's the Binding of Isaac for you. Trial and error. You will just encounter stuff and then it's up to you to figure out what on earth were the situation uh, circumstances which uh, brought that situation towards you. And as you can see, the ladder, uh, a la Legend of Zelda, if you haven't noticed the reference yet, uh, you can just walk over gaps with it, which is nice. Get more bombs, more money, and this might be our secret room then. That it be. More bombs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, blow up some of these mushrooms. Mushrooms are basically special types of rock, which can and did pay out with items. This one is a bonus item. We haven't got a bonus item right now. It goes in the bottom left corner. This one's pretty cool. Uh, what I was looking for was some passive um, mushroom items that you can get from here. But uh, the little mushroom that I, I forget what it's called, Liberty Cap? Uh, the mushroom I just picked up actually has a chance to randomly give us the effects of those passive items. So that's pretty good. Bad gas, I guess I'll use. Okay, that's... Don't want to let them get too close, they do charge you. Yep, like that. Probably a good time to use bad gas, but I didn't. I'm saving our last bomb, even though there's more mushrooms in there, because I think a treasure rock is more valuable, because it's guaranteed to pay out with something, as opposed to a maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, Dark Bum, you can have that. <sighs> Cheers, fella. You're a good man. Boom, boom, boom. Right, this one, this is actually a fairly big floor. But we finally found our boss and item room here. Okay, that's for you, Dark Bum. And what's in here? Gemini! I am a Gemini, so I will take Gemini. I would have taken Gemini anyway. It's a familiar that uh, grossly, like, hooks itself onto you. Uh, there's nothing else going on this floor. I think we'll take on our boss now. And you can obviously... And he'll do damage to any enemies that get close to you. This is Megamar. A stationary enemy, which I really don't want to get close to. But I do want to use my Gemini. So, uh, I'm going to fart on you. <laughs> Bit of toxic damage. Watch the flames. So, yeah, he can shoot sp spinning flames, straight flames. He summons these little hopper guys. He's a fairly tricky boss. I did just take a hit there. But he's not the worst. 
Ooh, okay. Yeah. What have you got for me, buddy? Ooh, a black art. You're too kind. Uh, this is a health upgrade, which I'll take. Health and luck. Oh! Okay. <laughs> uh, this here is the best item in the game. We're going to pick that up in a moment. Because uh, you can kind of trick the system here. You can actually get two heart deals with one heart, red heart. So let's try and uh, basically get both items for the price of one. Pick up this. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, that's just a trip to the next level. And then we're going to go ahead and take this. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're done with this floor. I'm a very happy bunny. I'm going to go get my hematemesis pill. And then I'm going to actually check that one room I haven't explored yet. Because that might be where our second secret room is. Because I don't think I've actually talked about second secret rooms. Even though they're very much a thing. <laughs> so uh, bear with me just a second. Little trip back. I'll take that. And then we got some uh, surplus bums. I'll blow up this last patch. That was worthless. Cool. You win some, you lose some. Oops. Oh yeah, Brimstone, by the way. Charge attack, which does this. <laughs> it's awesome. Believe me. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a mini boss room. And it's against Wrath. And also, another cool thing about Brimstone is it goes through walls and enemies... So I don't even need to go into the danger zone here. I'm just going to just wreck him. Thank you much. Thank you very much. And we have now unlocked Lazarus. Okay, so we've got two characters. Not the two I had planned, but two nonetheless. Uh, this is Mr. Boom. This is another active item. Like the shovel, which I picked up and didn't talk about. The shovel I can use once um, I've charged up. And by the way... Okay, because uh, Guppy's paw doesn't require any charges, but uh, these other items do. See these little uh, segments here? They fill up every time you defeat a room of enemies, and uh, when I can get a full charge of the shovel, I can use it to dig a hole, which can be used to like skip to the next floor, or sometimes reveal uh, a secret or hidden room. This guy here just lets you put on a really big bomb. What I'm going to do right here to maybe find a second secret room? No. Now you're probably wondering, well, that's not attached to any other rooms, like you said secret rooms are. Yeah, I know, but uh, second secret rooms are different in that respect. They uh, they don't connect to any other room. They're just one room connects to a, the second secret room. And it's normally uh, close to the boss room. So I'm checking over here, and I'm not going to waste any more bombs, because it looks like I'm lying, but I swear I'm not. <laughs> Let's uh, go to the next act of the caves. That is, that is fucked up. <laughs> right, okay. Mm, through here. Blah. And that's what I was talking about doing multiple, hitting the enemy multiple times with all these different segments. It's easy, easy kill. And that's a wicked item in our trap room. It would be more awesome if I didn't already have goat head, but the pact here is a damn well it's not the pact, sorry, the pentagram here is a damage increase and also increases your chances of getting deals with the devil. But we've got guaranteed deals with the devil right now, so it seems a whole lot less special. Thank you, Gemini, for literally saving my ass <laughs> there. And we can go into our boss room because we have no red health now. So, you know. Uh yeah, go on. Why not? Have a bomb. Yeah. Uh, Chubby here is like a uh, your Dodongo. He, she will eat your bombs if you uh, put her in a, a charge path. Oh, and Peep's annoying enemy, actually. I really don't like this boss. But she can give us too much trouble with Brimstone, that's for sure. Damage still could be better. Especially when I'm walking into shots like that. You want to stay away from his big puddles of a uh, yellow piss. They do hurt you. And then, of course, the more damage he takes, his eyes start to pop out and bounce around the room. This is a lot to deal with when you're fighting Peep. I'm kind of hoping we don't have to do that shit again. Boom. Ooh, okay. What's in here? That's for you, Dark Bum. You're a good man. Uh, we've got a full charge on our shovel. Let's use it. There you go. Now, see, it's because it's uh, pure black down there, that's definitely going to take us to our next level. And we don't want to skip our boss item, or even our item room item, which we haven't found yet. So, yeah, we're not going down there. I'm just going to keep walking around the shovel until it gives me something I want. 
Because <laughs> I don't really use the shovel to uh, skip floors, because uh, I want what the floor's got most of the time. Yum, 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 yum. The biggest problem with my current play, other than the fact that I'm taking stupid damage at the moment, is um, the fact that I haven't got red hearts anymore means I can't really take advantage of Pyromaniac, because Pyromaniac will only um, re replenish red health. It won't replenish our shield hearts here. Oh, that's not our secret room? Sad. Now, I can use a bomb to get a bomb here, because, look, you can actually uh, destroy these rocks and topple them over to plug the gap and walk across. Of course, I didn't need to do that because I got the ladder. I'm not an idiot. I did that to show you. <laughs> I swear. I'm a little bit of an idiot. Um... Right, okay, that's that done. I don't like that room normally, but fortunately we did have a laser already charged to take out the first enemy we encounter, because that's what I do. I just always keep my charge on um, brimstone so that I can literally just pop an enemy instantly when I enter a room. Humbling Bundle's a huge pickup. I really want to get the money together for that. And we're getting ever closer. Let's go into this big room. That might be our secret room up there. Also, another great benefit to Brimstone is the fact that it has infinite range. So I can literally just take out these enemies from my little safe corner there. That's another trip to the next level. I'll pop my bomb here. No! Okay. Did I already find it? No. See? I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> There's our boss room. Oops, some rushdown enemies. Kite them. Especially with Sticky Sack. You do need to take them out once they are reduced to mush, otherwise they will just get back up. Um, we can take on our boss, even though we haven't found our item room yet, because we've got Brimstone. And it's Chubb again. She's not so bad, although I haven't got a bomb to feed her this time. She will summon, like, three maggot enemies. I tend to keep one alive just so that she cuts that shit out. And uh, she charges you if she uh, clocks you. But, you know, she'd be dead. Now, this one's a little special guy here. As you might have noticed, he was different from the other maggots because he's a... You, yeah, you have that dark one. That's all yours. Um, he's blue. Dabba dee bow die. Oh, you killed him before I finished my explanation. You're like my evil twin. Oh, range upgrade. Absolutely useless with Brimstone, but thanks anyway. Thank you. Yeah, that's a champion enemy. They uh, they can they take a bit more damage. They do a bit more damage. I think they do a full heart of damage. But they also have... Um, they also have special things happen when they get taken out based on their colour. Also, what we've got here is a piece of heart. Which, if we can keep alive f until the next floor, will become a full red heart. So that's good, because uh, this item is definitely not worth it. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Satan. I'm, I'm out. That's not, that's, I'm not interested. That, uh, that thing there, I believe is called Contract from Below. It... Um, it gives you one black heart, but of course it's going to cost us three of our shield hearts to pick it up. And um, all it does is hurt all the enemies in the room when we get hit on low health. And because we haven't actually got red health right now, that will count as low health. So every time we're hit, we will be able to damage all the enemies in the room. And at this stage of the game, that probably would kill them. But at the same time, I don't plan on getting hit. Oh, three dollar bill. Okay, now this is where things get interesting. <laughs> Three dollar bill gives you uh, a mix match of uh, different uh, passive item abilities to your tiers. So all sorts of shit's going to happen now I've got this. Uh, I haven't got any bombs. I still haven't got the money I wanted to go to the shop. Which is upsetting. Because I really wanted Humbling Bundle. But I can't imagine any place we can go to possibly find that extra dosh. Consumables are a little tight right now. Maybe uh, this poo. No. No, I think we're done. So we're moving on. I shouldn't have dropped my hematemesis pill, but I did. And uh, I'm going to get over it, I think. With a bit of counselling. Right, now we're in the final level. This is the depths. As you think, things get tragic here, as you can see. Had no toilet paper. Uh, gauntlet room, what's inside? Three red chests, absolutely. We've got one guppy item, we want two more. 
Ooh, for China monsters! Oh, I just walked right into that. That was foolish. I just had my eyes focused on the troll bombs, and they were not my biggest threat. Because, especially since I've got Pyromaniac, which means they can't damage me. So, let's just agree that I am an idiot. And deal with the rest of this room. Yeah, uh, the enemy can get Brimstone too, unfortunately. I've got a new Hematemus' pill, so that's fine. I found pills is a joke pill. You take it, it does nothing. And in our last one, we got friendly spiders. Uh, I'll probably hold on to this. Crack open this. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, you want to get three guppy items because if you do. Oh, we got triple shot brimstone. Do you see that? Wow! Happy days. <laughs> but only for that room. There'll be something else now. Um. Yeah, if you get three Guppy items, then you can actually transform into Guppy. We got two champion enemies here. The dark green one will explode. And I killed the other one before I got a chance to see what colour it was. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay. No, yeah, if you get if you get if you transform into Guppy, your damage goes through the roof, okay? Because um every hit with Guppy uh, generates a friendly fly for you. And what the flies do, besides, you know, attack enemies for you, is uh, they scale with your damage, okay? So you can, and they always do greater than your tears. They might even do like double or at least one and a half times the damage you're doing with your tears. So getting a, like an army of flies is pretty awesome. But you look, treasure rock, I see you. Key in a bomb, it's all right, it's okay. Oh, these guys would normally be a problem. You can normally only hit these guys from the back, but, you know, bleh, it doesn't matter. Because we got Brimstone, the best item in the game. Take these guys out. Now, these aren't unlike the other fly bombs, which I happily walked into because they blow into projectiles rather than just a normal explosion. Let's keep out of the way of that. This is a, a pretty strong first uh, run, to be honest. I've had better. But, you know, it's Brimstone, so... I'm really not going to complain. I'm going to put a bomb here, though. Maybe a secret room. No? I'm not getting too lucky with that. Oop, another enemy with its own brimstone. You can tell when they're, they're going to be a brimstone enemy when they've got the blood dripping out of their mouth, at least for the war callers. And awesome. Infamy. Infamy. Um, it says damage reduction. What it means is damage immunity sometimes. Which is, you know... Sometimes damage immunity to never damage immunity is obviously better. So we're going to go ahead and definitely take that. Still only getting, uh, you know, trips to the next level. And it's not going to happen. Haven't found a writing room yet. Uh, we'll take up the boss now. The cage is a tough boss. This guy is a tank. <laughs> and we're going to try and use Sticky Sack to the best of my abilities. And Gemini, but that got a little bit... Uh, Dopey there. Now, he doesn't just roll around. He's actually being pretty uh, gentle right now. He's got a teleport attack which follows up with, well, this. And that's one of the most difficult attacks to dodge because you have no idea where that's going. He can summon his own little vagina monsters. Um, ooh, and he can fire uh, projectiles like all over the room as well. So he's a tough boss, but, you know, brimstone. <laughs> that's a, always a winning factor there. And we got another range up. Super. Thanks for that. What have you got for me, Satan? Okay, these are good. That's a second guppy item right there. Unfortunately, we can't take both of these. That's just spiders. Uh, see, now ceremonial robes here will give me um, some more black hearts and a damage up. Whereas guppy here will give me like a 50% chance of coming back to life if I die. But uh, most importantly, it's a guppy item. And that alone is why I'm taking it. Because you ain't seen nothing unless you've seen... Uh... Oh, am I Guppy? Did I forget about Guppy? We are Guppy. Okay, well, uh, forget everything I just said because I absolutely made the right decision now. See, now with Guppy, you can fly. For some reason. Don't question it. It's just good. And now, the ticks... Because you have to do constant ticks of damage when you're hitting enemies with the brimstone laser. And I see this army of flies I'm slowly building. Yeah... Or the green champion enemies leave a, a trail of poison, which you obviously don't want to mess with. But we can fly now, so we don't. Uh, a pill we haven't tried yet. Pheromones. Hmm. Hold on to that. Let's go in our shop. Uh, yeah, I'm being stupid enough with my pyromaniac to make 
fanny pack a worthwhile purchase. Every time we get hit, we're going to drop a random consumable now. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Hold on to the rest of our cash for the final floor, which is the next one. And we're going to continue to look for our item room. Still don't know where our secret room is, that though. It's not in here. Oh, homing brimstone. Isn't it pretty? Can't use that key because we need it for the item room, which is down here. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look at the flies go. Um, this is Guppy's tails now being a bit of a top cock piece. Cock peas? Cock teas. <laughs> Cat's got my tongue. But I'm tish. Let's go through here. Libra. Okay, I don't want this. I don't think I want this. But this is a good opportunity for me to uh, put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to press start here to check my stats. Uh, my damage stat mm, is not great, to be honest. Which is why Brimstone's kind of lackluster right now. Range is really high, but we don't need it. The Libra upgrade is going to balance all of our stats. Which might be worth taking because we've got too many points in range, which is just useless to us right now. So yeah, I probably will pick that up. But uh, look over here. Q W K G one L A J. That's the seed for this one. If you want to play it yourself and maybe experience Guppy um, and Brimstone. Okay, this is this is a Guppy Brimstone run. You can absolutely play along and uh, do the same. You won't unlock anything though, guys. It will just be for the fun of it, which is what Isaac's all about, really. Okay, so we've uh, balanced our stuff. Does it show straight away? No, I don't think it does. Oh, but it also, I forgot that it gives us a bunch of consumables, too. There we go. Oh, we got another Guppy item. Guppy's head. Guppy's head is got, obviously, a one-room charge. So, like, every time we defeat a room, we can use this. And it just adds more flies to our ever-growing army. Ah, purple fire. Like blue fire, you can't cry it out. You have to blow it up. But unlike blue fire, it shoots homing tears as well. So, watch yourself. That's them sorted. Um, secret room, maybe? Yeah. Found it in the end. <laughs> uh, it could be funny. So that this is obviously a bonus item which replaces Liberty Cap, but it does this. Wiggly, wiggly. That's actually not increasing my range enough to be excited about. I'm going to stick with Liberty Cap because some of the passive uh, mushroom items are pretty amazing. Uh, we've been everywhere now. Okay. Don't know where our second secret room would be. Hmm. Oh, yes. Cricket's head. Amazing damage upgrade. Okay, when you pick up Cricket's head, you're going to see a huge boost in your damage. Although I may be getting too excited because we did just pick up Libra, which means that damage boost is going to go into all of our stats now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to bother looking for the second secret room, even though I've been lugging this hematomesis pill around for ages. I have no idea where it might be. Let's finish things up. This will be the final floor for our first run. Time to take on Mother Dearest. And so Magdalene was born. Okay, we got a boss trap room. Consumables. Nah, not that interested now. Uh, go for here. Little gishes. Maybe dead. That's a slot machine. We can obviously put money in there and possibly get consumables back. There's also a chance every time you put in a coin to blow up the machine, which can uh, end up in a new item. Uh, we'll come back to that if the shop is crap. This might be a secret room. It's not. There's our shop. Yeah, so it's amazing how quickly Libra went from amazing for us to pretty bad for us because we did just pick up Cricket's head. Okay, this is a shit shop. So um, I'm just going to donate all my money. Because this isn't just a good Samaritan thing. Donating to the shop in, uh, upgrades the shop and unlocks new items, as you just saw. And uh, when you upgrade the shop, it basically gets to hold more items for you. So it'll be more helpful to us in the future. It does, unfortunately, have a chance of uh, jamming every time you put a coin in it, though. 
There's our final boss room. It's uh, no return when you go in there. So let's try and find our item room before we take off. I'm going to put a bomb here. Maybe find our second secret room. Yeah, we did. Can we get hematesis to work? No. <laughs> this is a bonus item. The match, which lets you find more bombs. We'll be all right. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. Item room's over there somewhere. Yeah, we might play that in a bit. Don't really need to. Oh, we also got this guy. Little beggar. You can give him your money and uh, he will pay out with consumables. And if you get him to uh, pay out enough, he will give you an item too. You haven't got a lot of money left. So we really need to pick and choose who gets who. Oh, one of the bosses have been demoted here. Goodbye, Hollow. You really didn't stand a chance. And uh, Dark Bomb, that's all yours. <laughs> Shoot to whoop. Uh, yeah, why not? I mean, we have quite the insect army here. Plenty of spiders, plenty of flies. Um, we'll go with shoot to whoop for a secondary laser. <laughs> now, uh, I pick it up because I normally only get shoot to whoop on the early floors. And its damage is not very good. So, uh, I'm just wondering, maybe it scales with our damage? And this might be the first opportunity... Oh, now we can start playing some of these dudes. This might be my first opportunity to really get uh, more out of the item. Because this is how you get stuff done in Isaac. You just experiment. Okay, he paid up pretty quickly with a health upgrade. And, oh, we'll definitely take the devil card. And we might as well play this. Riveting, riveting stuff. we got a key we don't need. Got a bomb we don't really need. More money to basically put... Oh, we blew it up. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's that. We'll just take our goods. I could keep looking for the second secret room. Well, actually, this will be our first secret room. I found the second secret room. There's our first. More money. Yeah, I think the game's t telling me to just go... So let's do that. Let's wrap things up for this first episode of Isaac. <laughs> and take on Mother. You may recognise the leg. That lovely, fatty, veiny, cellulite leg. Okay, um, we're going to shoot her. I'm going to use shoot to whoop here. I might have missed. That might still be shit. We'll find out for another time. Fly Army won that for us. And um, that's the end of the game for now. Uh, after this, the game just gets bigger. We've got a whole new floor now with uh, another two acts to it to play. And, of course, we did unlock some new characters, which we'll probably be rolling out for uh, our next playthrough. This is the only time you're ever going to see this ending, because uh, after this, Mum is no longer the final battle. I hope you'll come back and join me to see where the game goes from now on. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you saw right now, because <laughs> I'm hooked on this, and I'm definitely going to crack on with or without you. It's been beautiful, guys. Let's do it again sometime.